I'm going to start today talking about drawing pivots. And I'm going to try and make it as easy and simple as possible to, to make it clear the difference between using a peg pivot and a drawing pivot. Now I've drawn three different elements inside my scene. And I'm going to, and you'll see that there's, you know, our three boxes. We got our, our what would be our hand, our lower arm, and our upper arm. And I'm going to take these. I'm going to do Command Shift P and put a peg on each of those, and I'm going to put a peg that pegs these together, and another peg that pegs everything together. And this is your standard everyday parenting. If I select the bottom, which is the hand, and parent up to the lower, and parent up to the upper. Now, <coughs> excuse me. Um. This is how we put a pivot on the peg. And this little button here is how we put a pivot on the drawing. And this is the one that we're going to use today. I'm going to select this drawing, or this um, pivot, and I'm going to just put it on the drawing. I'm going to put it at the elbow, and I'm going to put it at the upper arm. Now for starters, if I, if I select it, none of those are working because I need to tell the drawing pivots to go to the parent pegs, to go above to these pegs. So I'm going to select all these elements, and I'm going to bring in my node view toolbar. I'm going to select this, set properties on many layers, and I'm going to say use embedded pivot on parent peg. And I'm going to hit OK. And now we're going to see a change. If I select this, the pivot's in the right position. If I select this, it's in the right position. And if I select this, it's in the right position. But when I move up the chain, this is where it becomes a little bit more confusing because I put the pivot on the drawing and I said to go up to the master peg, but it can't jump from here all the way up here. So one of the workarounds that we use is we take our drawing layer again, control C, control V, and I simply attach it to there. And now you can see that that's attached and control C, control V, that's attached. And now all of our B, B, B pivots are working because they're getting the information from the drawing pivot off of these. It might seem a little bit confusing why you would do this, but in some cases, when you have multiple um, um, views of a character on the timeline, for instance, let's say on my second uh, view of this foot, my foot was over here. We, we can see that that pivot position, what, which one, where, where did I draw it? Let me just go here, Let's pick our, make sure we know where we're drawing. We wanted to draw on this layer. Okay. Let's put our, our, our second view of that foot, whoops, I'm going to make a new drawing and place it over here. And we can see that this pivot is not in the right position. On frame one, it's in the right position. On frame two, it's center, center. It's in the screen center. But if I use that and place it there, we can see that I can have the pivot position there on drawing one, or if I move to, I mean drawing two, if I move to drawing one, the pivot position moves with it. And that makes it very handy if you're doing multiple views on the same timeline. If you're doing the front, the quarter front, the three quarter front. Hopefully that, that explains a little bit about drawing pivots. And now we're gonna take a look at peg pivots.